As we reported last week, one of Rosewood Academy's three child care facilities was shut down for 10 days due to a COVID-19 outbreak linked to 100 cases. As a result of that story, we heard from parents and former employees about other concerns with the facilities. Now, since then, all three of the company's facilities were temporarily and voluntarily closed while the State Department and Health and Human Services conducts an, investi an investigation. Rosewood Academy hasn't returned our calls and DHHS has provided us with limited information. But we did find some public documents that show state inspectors have listed concerns at all three of the locations. This interim licensing agreement is posted on the door at all three Rosewood Academy locations. It's an agreement with Nebraska DHHS dated March 28th, stating all three locations will voluntarily remain closed until April 9th to allow for a department investigation and determination. It does not provide any specifics on what the investigation is. The day before the facility closed, the owner sent an email to parents saying they have voluntarily closed for two weeks so they can, quote, devote 100% of our immediate time and energy to defending our business and our reputations through the pendency of this investigation. The day before this announcement, the daycare sent out an email. In it, the owner Kelly Hansen states, aside from one matter currently under review by the department, all prior negative actions at Rosewood Academy locations have been resolved. The present matter relates to my husband and co-founder of Rosewood Academy, Carl Hansen. It goes on to say Carl's intervention to protect the safety of some children from what he believed to be a potentially dangerous situation created by another child has been misreported and grossly mischaracterized as something completely different and terrible. Another interim licensing agreement signed February 23rd between the Northwest location and Nebraska DHHS stated Carl Hansen was not allowed to be alone with child care children until an investigation that is not described in the document is complete. We found this document on Nebraska DHHS's website. A few days after we asked the department for more records involving the facility, we could no longer find this document on the website. On Wednesday, we asked DHHS if this agreement was still in effect. The department did not respond. In this February 23rd agreement, Kelly and Carl Hansen agreed to comply with the following regulation, which says any individual who is under investigation for abuse, neglect, or sexual abuse of a child or vulnerable adult must not be left alone with children until the investigation is complete and the findings are determined. The document also said DHHS became aware of an investigation involving Carl Hansen on February 10th but the details of that agreement are blacked out. The Omaha Police Department is investigating an incident that happened on the same day. It's not clear if Carl Hansen is a part of this investigation. His name is not mentioned in the report, but according to an interim licensing agreement signed on February 23rd, both list the same location. A mother told police she found bruises on her five-month-old after picking her up from the daycare. According to the police report, a team at Children's Hospital reported a possible case of child abuse. The mother told police she spoke with the director at Rosewood Academy, named Emily, who was not aware of any incident, but said the child could have hurt herself while on an exorciser. Police told us they could not provide any other details on this ongoing case. No suspect is listed in the report and no arrest has been made. Rosewood Academy has signed at least two other agreements with DHHS, barring people from being alone with child care children until an investigation is complete. One of the agreements ended last year. We also found a document called a non-disciplinary corrective action, stating DHHS conducted a joint complaint investigation at the Elkhorn location back in December. The document states more than one staff person witnessed inappropriate behavior by staff towards children in care, and staff brought concerns to management with little or no response by management. Rosewood Academy was required to submit a plan of correction to DHHS. This plan identified issues of concern, including spanking, handling roughly, and threats of physical punishment. The daycare said it would hold a meeting with staff to discuss ways to ask for help before getting too frustrated with a child, how to report an incident to management, 
and different ideas to keep the kids in the classroom engaged and entertained. It also mentioned an employee no longer works there. Lastly is Rosewood Academy's Southwest location, where in 2020, three people who worked at the facility told inspectors a staff member was aggressively handling children, including abruptly picking up children and pulling on them. DHHS concluded the daycare violated a regulation regarding prohibited forms of discipline. The employee was required to undergo two hours of training and management had to write up a plan to monitor that employee's interactions with children. Nebraska DHHS told us they could not comment on the reports and or pending investigations. Before the two week closure, before sending parents an email about the quote, present matter and quote, involving Carl Hansen, the owner sent another email telling parents they were working with DHHS on a matter they called sorely mischaracterized. The owner bolded one sentence, which said in part, no one at Rosewood Academy is under investigation for abuse of any kind. The owner sent an email to parents on March 27th, which says in part, DHHS is not required to make a finding beyond all reasonable doubt when substantiating a claim. She also cautioned that even if DHHS substantiates a finding of noncompliance, it doesn't mean someone is, quote, a child abuser. You can read all of these emails from Rosewood, the inspection records, and the police report by going to our website, 3newsnow.com, and clicking on the investigators tab. And if you have a story idea, email us at investigate at 3